Now, we need to divide using expanded division. First, we have 68 divided by 2. So we can set the question out like this, with the divisor on the left. Now, when we divide, we start by dividing the larger place values. So first, we need to divide the 6 that's in our tens. Now, 6 is in the 2 times table. So what we can do is write 6 below. And because 6 is 3 times 2, we can write 3 in our answer line. Now, we subtract and bring down. But 6 minus 6 is 0. So here, all we need to do is bring down the 8. So now, we can divide 8 by 2. 8 is in the 2 times table. So we can write 8 below. And because 8 divided by 2 is 4, we can write 4 as the ones digit of our answer, because 4 times 2 is 8. So now, we don't have any remainder, we don't have any other digits to bring down, so our answer is 34. Now, let's try 72 divided by 3. We can set the question out in the same way, and again, we start by dividing the digit that's in our tens. Now, 7 isn't in the 3 times table. So what we need to do here is think of the number in the 3 times table that's as close to 7 as possible, but not more than 7. That's 6, and because 6 divided by 3 is 2, or 2 times 3 is 6, we can write 2 in our answer line. Now, we subtract and bring down. 7 minus 6 is 1, and we can bring down the 2, so now we have 12 divided by 3. Well, 12 is in the 3 times table, and because that's 4 times 3, we can write 4 in our answer line, so our answer is 24. Now, 96 divided by 4. So first, we need a number in the 4 times table that's as close to 9 as possible, but not more than 9. 8 is in the 4 times table, and that's less than 9, so we can write 8 below. And because 8 divided by 4 is 2, or 2 times 4 is 8, we have 2 as the tens digit of our answer. So now we subtract and bring down. 9 minus 8 is 1, and we bring down the 6, so we have 16 divided by 4. Well, 16 is in the 4 times table, and that's 4 times 4. So 4 is the ones digit of our answer. 16 minus 16 is 0, and what this 0 here tells us is that we don't have a remainder. Our answer is up here, so that's 24. And finally, we have 123 divided by 3. Now what we can do here, because 1 is less than 3, what we can do is take the first two digits together and divide 12 by 3. So if the first digit is less than the divisor, you can take two digits together. Now 12 is in the 3 times table, so we can write 12 below, and because that's 4 times 3, we can write 4 in our answer line. Now we subtract and bring down. But 12 minus 12 is 0, so all we need to do is bring down the 3, so we have 3 divided by 3. Well, 3 is in the 3 times table, and 3 divided by 3 is 1, so that's the ones digit of our answer, 41. So now, let's take a closer look at these questions and see what we did. First, we had 68 divided by 2. When we divide, we start by dividing the digit in the larger place value, so that's the 6 in our tens. We can share out all 6 of our tens, so that's why we write 6 below the 6, and now we write 3 in our answer line because 6 divided by 2 is 3, and we can see that we now have 3 tens in each of our groups. 6 minus 6 is 0, so we just need to bring down the 8, and then what we're doing is sharing out our 8 ones. Because we were able to share out all 8 of our ones, we write 8 below, 
And because 8 divided by 2 is 4, we write 4 as the ones digit of our answer because we can see that we have four ones in each of our groups. So our answer is 34. Then we had 72 divided by 3. We need to share out seven tens. Now we can share out six of those tens, but we can't share out our seventh ten, because remember, with division, we need equal groups. So because we were only able to share out six tens, we write six below, and because there are two tens in each group, we know two is the tens digit of our answer. So now we subtract and bring down. Seven minus six is one, and what we're really doing when we bring down the one is we're breaking up this one remaining ten into ones. So then when we bring down the two, what we have is twelve, because we can see that we now have 12 ones. Now we can share out all 12 of those ones, and that's why we write 12 underneath the 12 and 4 in our answer line, because 12 divided by 3 is 4. We can see that we have 4 ones in each group, so our answer is 24. Now 96 divided by 4. First of all, we have nine tens to share out. Now we can only share out eight of those tens, because if we share out this ten, then we won't have equal groups. So, because we can only share out eight of our tens, we write eight below the nine, and because we have two tens in each group, we know that two is the tens digit of our answer, because two times four is eight. Now again, we need to subtract and bring down. 9 minus 8 is 1. What we're really doing when we bring down is breaking up our 10 into 1s. So then when we bring down the 6, we get 16, because we can see that all together, we now have 16 1s. We can share out all 16 of those 1s, and that's why we can write 16 below the 16 and 4 in our answer line because we have four ones in each group. Then our last question was 123 divided by two. Now we can't share out our hundred because with division, we need to share things equally. So that's why what we do is take the first two digits together. But what we're really doing when we take the first two digits together is breaking up our hundred into tens. So then we have 12 tens. So if we share out those tens, we can share out all 12 of our tens because 12 is in the three times table. So we can write 12 below and four in our answer line. Now we subtract, but 12 minus 12 is zero. So all we need to do is bring down the three and we can share out our three ones with one one in each group. So that's why our answer is 41.